I'm like a turd, I never flush away. I've got new stuff that's coming up very soon. Um, a new series of Heart to Heart, which is gonna go on SBTV. And there's some other stuff happening. I don't wanna talk about it, because I don't wanna jinx it. Um, I'm gonna be on One Extra next week, 5th and 6th of October, Saturday and Sunday, 1 to 4 p.m. And then the following week, the 12th and 13th of October, uh, 1 to 4 p.m. So loads of stuff happening. In the meantime, you can ask me anything. And when I say anything, you can ask me anything. Um, piggyback or shoulder ride is one of them. Uh, I, I'm, I'm a bit weird, I'm gonna put it out there right now. I love to give people piggybacks. Um, I do, I really enjoy it. And because I've kind of challenged myself now, it's like, right, I've given a piggyback to somebody who weighs 16 stone and, you know, walked around, danced around with them, all of that kind of stuff. Um, so I kind of like to try and challenge myself. I've given people shoulder rides as well, actually, which to people like this. Girls can't give shoulder rides. Uh, yeah, we can. So, you know, shoulder rides are also good. If I was to get one of the other, if I was going to get a piggyback or a shoulder ride, I would go with piggyback every time. It's way more comfortable. You have to think about these things. You have to think about comfort. And if I'm on someone's shoulders as well, it's generally they're going to be drunk and it's dangerous. I could fall off at any time. What US rapper do you think would make the most entertaining heart to heart? I have to say, Kanye West. Uh, Yeezy, because he is a god! How much do you love me? I love you loads. Um, I really, I really, really love you. This much! Love is the best thing, and the more love you, the more you love, the more just the happier. Have you ever sharted? Told you, you can ask me anything. I'm not gonna lie about it, it has happened. And like, and it's just like, You know what's the most, the worst thing is then you have to like, you, it's your underwear isn't it? Like do you keep it or do you just dash it? Then I feel like even if I just dash it as it is, someone might find it and then, oh it's, it's scary! Um, sharting is not good and, and I don't want to talk about it anymore. I'm gonna have nightmares about shitting myself. What's your favourite position? I just like to uh, move around. Don't like to do too much work myself though. I, I can be quite lazy, so anything that involves me not doing that much, I like to receive. I mean, I, I like giving as well, but I'm, I'm more of a receiver. I'm not lazy all the time, I just want to put that out there by the way. I'm not a completely lazy lover, but you know, it's just, yeah. What's the furthest thing from your mind but closest to your heart? Dun, 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 dun. Um, I have to say the furthest thing from my mind, um, closest to my heart. My mum and my sister both um, have passed away. Um, my mum when I was nine, my sister died last year. And sometimes, you know, when you're really busy and you're caught up in things, um, you might not think about it all the time. But I know for a fact that my mum and my sister are with me um, and that they motivate me every single day. So sometimes they're not always on my mind, but they are the closest to my heart at all times. Unless I'm doing a heart to heart, and then whoever, whoever's hand is on the heart, they're the closest. What's the perfect first date? Whoop whoop. First date should be somewhere where you can sit and you can chat and always have a get out clause, because if that person turns out to be a real weirdo and you need to get out of that situation, you have to do this. Oh, sorry, hold on. Hello, what's that? Oh, <gasps> uh, oh. Uh. Yeah, okay then, all right, yeah, 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 okay. Look, I'm really sorry, um, it's just that uh, my best friend's um, uncle's sister just got hit by her cat, got hit by a car, and um, I, they need me to, I have to go and um, take the cat to the, I, I, I have to take her and the cat to the vets, so I have to go, but it's been lovely, and uh, I'll call you, bye. What's the most embarrassing thing that you have ever done? I've walked through a whole entire club with my um, skirt tucked into my pants with my ass just hanging out and my friends all knew about it and did any of them tell me no? I was like oh why is it? That must be looking pretty good. So everyone's like looking at me and like staring at me, yeah like that, you know going <sighs> smiling a lot so something good must be going on. Then I realised that I've had my ass out just walking around Hi, here is my bum, um, nice to meet you. Would you change anything in your life? No, do you know what, I wouldn't change anything in my life. If you learn a lesson from all the things that happen to you, then you can only just, you know, life just gets better and better and better.
what ideas, thoughts keep you motivated to keep following your ambitions and stay away from a regular job? From when I realised this is what I wanted to do, this is what I've wanted to do. There is no, there's no other way. I can't see my life any other way than without being a presenter slash crazy person. It's just it feels like that's what I'm supposed to do. Especially after my sister passed away last year, I made a decision that I would just go for it. Go for it. You never know when your life is going to be taken away from you, you never know when your life is, is over, you never know when you're going to be gone. So while you have the opportunity, while you're here, while you have the chance, just go for it. Um, and I think that that really um, kind of keeps me motivated and keeps me on the right track. Don't get me wrong, there are times when I get just miserable and I'm like, I don't want to do this anymore. You have to believe it to see it, not see it to believe it, if that makes sense. I do uh, still do regular jobs along the way. Um, people bump into me all the time doing various different things. Obviously, I got to pay the bill. I have a goal in my head and I want to get there and I'm determinated because I am the Herminator. If you could sing, I can sing. I'm like a turd, I never flush away You don't know where my home is I don't know where my home is And baby, all I need for you to know is I'm like a turd, I never flush away uh, In brackets, no offence And present an act And you had to choose one, which would it be and why? I haven't got a stereo in my car at the moment So I just sing all the time You know you better watch out Some girls, some girls are only about that thing, that thing, that thing. And no, I can't sing, but I like it. And I do it with the windows open so everybody can hear me if they've also got their windows open, especially if you're in a traffic jam. But yeah, every time presenting, um, it's not what I do, it's what I am, if that makes sense. And lastly, what's your view on the political views of the monster raving loony party? <laughs> Um, I fucking love them because they're raving loonies just like me. Hello, my name's Clara. Clara Hermit. I haven't actually looked at their political views, I'm not going to lie. They could be saying something that I totally disagree with. But just for the sake that it's the Monster Raven Loony Party, I, I like them. Um, they're obviously unconventional and I'm not sure they could do a much worse job than, uh, than the government that we have right now so uh, there you go that's my view on that so that's it for this week ask me anything I am Clara and you literally can ask me anything there's loads of new stuff coming up um, on this channel if you do want to subscribe do so now via the subscribe button and if you want to ask me anything you can ask me questions in the comments or you can tweet me at Clara Hermit C-L-A-I-R-A-H-E-R-M-E-T I am the Herminator Herminator I'm, I'm hoping it will catch on we out